A Bell's palsy is a new onset of facial weakness, and it's felt to be a problem with the nerve that comes out of the lower part of the skull that goes to the muscles of the face on one side. And those muscles include the forehead, the eye muscles, the muscles that help close the eye, the muscles of the cheek and the chin, and the muscles that help us cry and smile on that one side. So if one gets a Bell's palsy, they will have a weakness of all those muscles because of the nerve being inflamed. Bell's palsies occur in children. They occur in adults as well. When a child gets a Bell's palsy, it's um, almost invariably, if not invariably, makes a very good to perfect recovery. They're, it is very, very, very rare for a child to have a Bell's palsy that does not get better over weeks to months. Sometimes it can take eight months, uh, typically takes a month or two, but most children make a full to very near a full recovery without treatment, indeed. Hello, my name's Ben. Do you mind if I examine you? No. Just look straight ahead for me. Carefully inspect the whole face for symmetry, including differences in blinking or eye closure. Keeping your head still. Can you look up towards the ceiling and raise your eyebrows? Look for wrinkling of the forehead. And now can you show me your teeth like this? Look for asymmetry when the patient bears their teeth. Now close your eyes and don't let me open them. Test power by gently trying to overcome eye closure. Now can you blow out your cheeks for me, please? And hold them out as I try to press them in. And trying to squeeze air out through the patient's lips. Thank you. 